Because the first time a man manifested upon the face of the earth, that was in keeping with God's design for man, was when Jesus Christ went for John the Baptist's baptism as That's the first man, by God's description, that walked this world. Are you with me? That man, the devil could not deceive. That man, the devil could not conquer. Are you here? Now, so if those kind of men function, that's God's idea, that's God's definition of a man. Jesus, that came to John the Baptist, baptism as And that was why heaven bore witness that this one, this is my beloved son, this is the definition of man that I had in mind all this time. Because prior to this time, there has never been any man that is suitable and suitably fits my description of men. What we have been is that we have been men after the mankind. But by design, we were intended by God to be what? Men after the God kind. That means we have the capacity to manifest the divine attributes of God through our human virtues. That is a possibility for us because we were created in the image of God. The way your spirit was designed, for instance, your spirit was designed as a vessel that has a capacity to contain God. <laughs> Our modern day church system mostly has been designed to accommodate man of man. And we are trying to improve man of man. Now, if man of man has a car, he'll, life will be better. If man of man has a breakthrough, you'll be able to survive the challenges of life and he will break even. <laughs> we are not seeing the vision of God. Now Jesus operated the way he operated naturally. That was his nature. Because he was designed to be like that. Are you with me? And so we are trying to move beyond the scope of the aberration. And then to fit into the context of God's design and description of us. And there are provisions that have been made available to enhance us function of this, on this plane and on this frame of reference. Some of the things we call big spiritual things are actually normal things. They are not big spiritual things. That you could pick something from the spirit realm. That's who you are. That's how you should function. Just in case you are not functioning that way. You are, you are operating with the technology of man of man. That being has been mastered by the devil. That being will always be, always be frustrated by the kingdom of darkness. That being has been measured out in the balances of darkness and it has been, it has been judged to be incapable of contending with the power of the devil. Are you with me? Now, so the question is this. How do you intend to function? Because there are two modes of oppression. In that, by the time... Okay, let's go. The scripture reading will help us and give us perspective. So that we can manage the time we have. Second Peter chapter 1. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us, through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. So, who is he writing to here? Simon Peter. This is an apostle. Someone that has served God. Servant of Jesus Christ. He has worked with Jesus Christ for quite some time now. And now he's writing to people that have a like precious faith. Are you with me? This is directed to believers. People that have found Jesus through faith. There's a reason why he makes that emphasis in his salutation. Because there are two possible planes of oppression. You can operate from the natural plane and you can operate from your position in faith. Alright? If you decide to operate from your natural plane, it means that you are subscribing to the philosophy of man in man. You are operating from your soul. From the perspective of the things that you have seen and known. And on that perspective, you are vulnerable to the devil because he knows you on that perspective and he has mastered you. In fact, you are his subject on the account of the fall. 
So he's writing to people that have light precious faith. Trying to bring them into the full economy and the full implication of the faith that they have. So that they can live within the scope of the provisions of that faith to their full potential. Hallelujah. 